Hi folks, this is Jay. We've been looking at this amazing book by F.F. F. Bruce, which is still relevant today, even though he's been dead a few years now. And he writes, By the time of Irenaeus, who, though a native of Asia Minor, was a bishop of Lyons in Gaul, about A.D. 180, the idea of a fourfold gospel had become so axiomatic in the church at large that he can refer to it as an established and recognised fact as observed as obvious as the four cardinal points of the compass of the four winds. Um, Irenaeus writes, for well, there are four quarters of the world in which we live, in which we live, and four universal winds, and the church is dispersed over all the earth, and the gospel is the pillar and base of the church, and the breath of life, so it is natural that it should have four pillars breathing immortality from every quarter of the kindling the life of, of men anew. Whence it is manifest that the Word, the architect of all things, who sits upon the cherubim and holds all things together, having been manifested to men, has given us the gospel in fourfold form, but held together by the Spirit. When the four gospels were gathered together in one volume, it meant the severance of the two parts of the gospel, Luke's history. When Luke and Acts were thus separated, one or two modifications were apparently introduced into the text at the end of Luke and the beginning of Acts. Originally, Luke seems to have left all mention of the extension to his second treatise now the words and was carried up into heaven were added in Luke 24:51 to round off the narrative I don't agree with that with with uh, FF Bruce but uh what I do like there is he mentions Irenaeus mentioning about the gospels with the four corner of the world um, and what that tells you is that again the gospels were seen early on as authoritative, not the Gnostic Gospels.